What is remarkable is that even today stands a commemorative plaque in Al-Aqsa remembering the glorious feat of Salahuddin. Aqsa Week 2022 on CII Radio. Muslims liberated Al-Quds from the European Crusaders on the 27th of Rajab, 583 Hijri, corresponding to October the 2nd, 1187. This was 88 years, 2 months and 17 days after it was captured in a bloodbath by the Crusaders. Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi had the honor to have this liberation occur at his hands and there was added symbolism to the feat in that it had occurred on the Islamic date sometimes historically associated with the Mi'raj of the Prophet wasallam, in which Masjid al-Aqsa played a major role. When he liberated it, Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi cleansed al-Aqsa with the most beautiful fragrances. He illuminated it with lamps and appointed imams, khatibs and qurra for it. What is remarkable is that even today stands a commemorative plaque in Al-Aqsa remembering the glorious feat of Salahuddin, whose actual name was Yusuf for this ummah. This plaque, which stands right atop the mihrab of the Qibli Musalla in front of the imam at Masjid Al-Aqsa, reads... In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, the servant of Allah and leader, Yusuf ibn Ayyub, Abu al-Muzaffar, al-Malik al-Nasir, the rectitude of the world and faith, ordered the renewal of this holy mihrab and the structure of Masjid al-Aqsa when Allah afforded its liberation at his hands in the year 583 Hijri. He asks Allah to grant him the ability to express gratitude for this blessing and afford him forgiveness and mercy. Aqsa Week 2022 on CII Radio. Al-Aqsa's Untold Stories.